the winds of change may always blow, but they hold no sway over the United States' unwavering commitment to freedom in Europe. But the wind does have a say in the success of this NATO exercise's artillery airdrop. It'll be a long flight back to Germany with packed parachutes for the boys of the 173rd if the gusts get in the way of jump safety. Ground personnel carefully measure wind speed with the airdrop's fate hanging in the balance. Good job, I'm sitting at five down here, 330. Roger. The first pass is perfect and two howitzers shoot out the back. The bird's flown over once and it's sun's out, gun's out. The next pass over the drop zone and it'll be Boots on the ground. Although Boots and the men are tough, they can't jump unless the wind winds down a few knots. Howitzers can handle a hurricane, but will the jump men get the green light? Roger, I'm tracking no drop, um, sitting around 10 knots steady. We'll see on the next pass, how copy. Roger, I caught a no drop, wind's gusted to one four knots. So we give it a no drop, it's gonna do another pass in the racetrack, approximately 12 minute racetrack. When it comes back around, if it stays below 13 knots, then we'll give it clearance to drop and we'll drop approximately 14 jumpers. DZSO adds our 12 knots. Adds our DZSO copy, 12 knots. Jump, go, 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 go. Far from being finished, most of the team remains in the plane, keeping their fingers crossed for less cross breeze. We're not going to drop people when the winds are too high because then they can get killed, injured, I mean, all kinds of real bad. Winds shift direction coming from 320 at 11 knots. 320, 11 knots. With the Globemaster inbound to try again, the first chalk reaches the artillery and tears into it like a kid on Christmas morning. But they need more hands to help, and their plans are currently up in the air. Adzo, 8 knots, 320 degrees. Adzo, DZSO, copy. Uh, wind's down here, 11 knots, first two mics out, clear to drop. As the rest of the team arrives on a wing and a prayer, the objective of this training shifts to readying the guns to fire, a mission made much easier with boots on the ground. Yeah, it was good. It was tricky. I like a challenge. <laughs> it was definitely a challenge. Up to any challenge, and with a win against the wind under their belts, the U.S.'s commitment to a free and secure Europe is gust and airdrop away. From the Drosko-Pomorski Drop Zone, Poland, I'm Staff Sergeant Ben Woken.